What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Vlogging the Movies. And this week I'll be grabbing another slip of paper off of my bag of all of the physical media releases that I have in my collection that I've never seen before. Jimmy, can you lower the camera down? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> impromptu. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna, right. So I'm going to figure out what movie I'm going to react to for the first time this week, which movie I will check out. I got a lot of movies on my collection I've never seen before. Let's see here. I'm excited about it. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I almost got one. I dropped it. Okay. Okay. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. Better be a good one. Ooh, here we go. Adventures in Babysitting. Ooh. I've actually heard good things about this one. I know it's a comedy that came out in the 80s, directed by... Chris Columbus. I think it was one of his first movies. So, yeah, okay. I'm excited to check it out. Adventures in Babysitting, my next vlog in the movies video. We're about to watch Adventures in Babysitting. <laughs> you could say they were having a bad night. Any problems? No, not really. If they weren't having such a good time. Adventures in Babysitting. Alright, so I just finished watching Adventures in Babysitting for the first time. And this was originally released in 1987, if I'm not mistaken. And this was the directorial debut of Chris Columbus. Uh, this was, I think he had done other stuff previously, like I know he wrote the screenplay for Gremlins and other things, but this was his first outing as a director. And of course he went on to direct the first two Home Alone movies, Mrs. Doubtfire, and the first two Harry Potter movies. So a really, really solid start from this director. I had never seen this movie before. And this was a pretty fun little 80s comedy. You have a teenager named Chris, played by Elizabeth Shue, who is tasked to babysit some kids. And the night pretty much goes all out crazy and all over the place. Now what's fascinating to me is I actually saw the Disney Channel remake of Adventures in Babysitting before I saw this movie. I saw the Disney Channel version a few years ago, and that one starred Sophia Carson in it. That is not a good version. Even when I saw it, I had a feeling that that was a dumbed down version of the original. I just knew it just from seeing it alone and not having seen the original. And honestly, having watched the original, the remake is much worse in comparison. I don't recommend the Disney Channel version at all. Just watch the original 80s film from Chris Columbus because one, it's a lot funnier. There's a lot more of an edge to it. This one is PG-13 in comparison. And there's actually some pretty dark humor that's sprinkled throughout the course of this movie. Some of which I think kind of teetered the line between whether it was hilariously funny or a little disturbing at the same time. But I think the balance is there and it made for a fun little movie. Maybe not one I'd show to younger kids though because there is some pretty dark stuff in this movie. But... You know, for everybody else, this is a fun time. I did enjoy Elizabeth Shue in the lead role. I thought the kids were likable enough. What's funny is the girl in the movie is obsessed with Thor. Man, I'm, I imagine that girl grew up and is a big fan of the MCU today. That's all I'm saying there because, you know, Thor is everywhere now. And I think in the 80s, I think he was just in the comic books, if I'm not mistaken. Did he have a cartoon? I'm not sure. But anyway... It, the movie is a lot of fun. I did enjoy a lot of the ridiculous scenarios. The one that cracked me up, uh, they go to this, uh, there's like this chop shop group of gangsters who are after them, and that one leader cracked me up so much. He had one of the funniest lines in the whole movie where he sees them and he goes, Get the Brady Bunch upstairs. <laughs> cracked me up so hard. I love that character especially was a lot of fun. And I think my favorite sequence in the movie is where the characters end up in this like bluesy bar and the characters have to sing the blues so they can leave. 
And we got the Babysitter Blue song. And man, that song was so much fun. So much energy put into that. And I enjoyed the musical sequence. It was very well done for a first time director. She got the Babysitting Blue. I've got the sitting blues. I think the main reason, I think I blind bought the DVD because I had heard that the movie was heavily censored on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I did look that up. It was just a few swear words that was actually bleeped out on the Disney Plus version. If you watch the movie, Elizabeth Shue says that one line. You probably know what it is without me having to say it. Which I'm not because I'm not a sweary person. <laughs> Don't fuck with the babysitter. To me, I'm like against censorship. So if you want to watch the movie, you watch the movie that the filmmaker originally intended, not a dumbed down version. Two, Disney Plus has R rated content on there now or TVMA stuff. Like they have the Daredevil series on Disney Plus. So there's no excuse to do censoring swear words just to try to make it accessible to younger kids when the original cut of the movie had dark humor to begin with so yeah i don't think i'll be watching the disney plus version unless they tweak it and release the original version of the film it's like i ain't watching the streaming version of lilo and stitch because they changed the dryer into a pizza box which is absolutely stupid it makes no sense so disney plus and streaming and anything that's why I prefer physical media, because physical media, you watch the original version of the movie, unless there's some digital alterations like the Star Wars. That's a different story for another day, but I don't like it when streaming services think they're smarter, they're the parents of the kids, and they change some stuff to try to make it accessible to younger kids and try to dumb things down. But that's just me personally. This is not a great movie by any means. It's just a fun little silly 80s comedy that doesn't take itself too seriously. It's just a ridiculous movie with a ridiculous premise. But I did enjoy it for that. And this movie is one of the more hidden gem films in Chris Columbus's filmography. Like, I don't see too many people talking about this one. I think people in the 80s, I think, love it. But it's definitely not as talked about compared to Chris Columbus's other movies. But I think it's fun. I think the movie was enjoyable. I enjoyed the setup. The characters were fun. The dark humor landed for me. It's for, I think there were some sexual jokes that might have went a little too far. Uh, if you know, you know. But when it was focusing on the main story and the main characters and them trying to get everything back together before you know, the parents find out, uh, the Race Against the Clock was a lot of fun. And of the two versions of Adventures in Babysitting, the original is definitely the better film. That's the one I check out. I probably recommend the physical media version since the streaming version is the censored cut. You got to watch the original cut for sure to get all the jokes. Uh, the movie is a lot of fun, and I'll be giving Adventures in Babysitting a four out of five stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 74 out of 100. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Vlogging the Movies where I got to check out Adventures in Babysitting for the first time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Vlogging the Movies playlist. And if you've seen Adventures in Babysitting, let me know down in the comments below. Would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. And remember, no one leaves unless they're singing the blues.